here we are in the Brooks Range in Alaska. We're overlooking Foch Creek. friends that's Kevin right there say hi Kevin hi Kevin are you having a good time so far a great time what have we seen so far we saw two uh, cows moose uh -huh. um, that's it so far but yeah yesterday very helpful. very helpful the day that me and well the day that Chris and I I gotta use proper proper grammar the day that Chris and I came in, we saw two grizzly bears right over. They tell me you're supposed to move these things slow so people don't get dizzy when you... Right over there below that timber, about five miles away, saw two grizzly bears. Over there, that's my friend Chris. Hi Chris. How's everything? Good. What are you eating? Some concoction you cooked up. It's uh, savory noodles with chipped spicy beef. Oh, it tastes good. A la Foch Creek. Yeah. Right? Right. And this is our little structure we have on the hill. This is where we cook up some hot soup. We're really roughing it, you can tell. folding chairs and hot soup for lunch. This is our lookout hill. From here we can see about anything we want to walk to and some stuff we don't want to walk to. Right there's our friend David. Say hi David. How's everything? Feel good? You excited? David's fired up. Can't you tell? Yep. <laughs> he gets pretty excited. This is our weather. We've been, since we've been here, it's been intermittent sun and rain. Right now we're in between the rain. Got some patches of blue sky. Guaranteed it'll rain again before the day is over. We're here in the Brooks Range on the south side. We're looking for caribou and moose. No, caribou and grizzly bear. We don't have any moose tags in camp. Altogether, we'll have four people that want caribou, and two of them also want a grizzly bear. There's no caribou here yet, but we're counting on them showing up. Have high hopes. Over here is down river. Saw two cow moose down river this morning. Just a little bit ago. Way down there. They're, walk they're working their way up river just like the caribou are. We see a lot of wolves in this area. See a lot of grizzly bears in this area. Walk over to the edge. We'll look down on our humble accommodations. Some new snow on some of these mountains this morning when we got up. And then it all melted. Now it's all gone. There was new snow on those mountains there this morning. And it's gone now. Let's look down on our accommodations down below us.
There's our cook tent. There. It's our cook tent. There's one of the hunters' tents right there. We'll have four hunters all together. That tent there is for other hunters and there's a packer tent. And that's the head guide's tent. And his packer. Warm, dry accommodations, we hope. Okay, we'll check in later when something interesting happens. Let's see if we can... Yeah, that dark spot right in the middle of the frame is the bear we're looking at. Way too far away. And going away from us. If he was coming toward us, or at least sitting still, we could try it. The other thing is, is the wind is blowing from us right toward him. We could work around that if the bear was just sitting still for a little bit. We could work around the wind to our favor, but it's not a stationary bear. It's been going away from us since we first saw it. And they can wander much faster than we can run. So we just have to wait. Find a bear with a better opportunity. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> Come on, Hunter. <laughs> Hold that. Are you ready to blow it out? <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you, guys. Congratulations. It's August 31st. Everything turned white. It started raining yesterday about noon and and it turned to snow. And this is what our world looks like now. Went after a caribou yesterday up the creek about two miles up the creek yesterday. When we got there, we couldn't find him. He was uh, up gone. And uh, we've been seeing more caribou though. He's actually up that creek there is where we were yesterday. Saw some bull up there and went to go get him. Didn't uh, materialize. This beautiful 50 inch caribou. 50, 50 by 40 anyway. 50 by 40. And, uh... Guided by the famous Mark Knapp of Mark <laughs> Knapp Knives. <laughs> <laughs> we will be using one of his special knives on this caribou, I am sure of. This is the eighth day of an eight-day hunt. And we've been working hard. The caribou haven't been cooperating. Everything, almost everything we've seen have been on the skylines five miles away and beating feet across the tundra in the wrong direction and we put a chase on a few caribou today we put the chase on this one it's probably only what is it what time is it there 9:35. 9:35. so we've been on the hill every day starting 5 30 and on the hill every night till 9.30. We've been waiting for the right opportunity and it came to us this morning. I was eating my breakfast up on the hill, the lookout hill, and this bull and another small bull came out of the woods about a thousand yards actually from our lookout hill. That's right. And he, they were actually moving fast. We. Um, we had to actually beat feet over here really quick before they got into the brush, never to be seen or heard from again. 
this has been our home for about 10 days and uh, it's been snowing on us it's been raining on us it's been blowing 15 miles an hour at times maybe gusting to 20 and um, we went far and wide for caribou and ended up taking one really not too far from the airstrip and you know what pretty happy about it very happy about it well, there's Kevin and his nice nice caribou say hi Kevin hey Kevin oh, man. there's Hunter aptly named all right you guys look great <laughs> okay. from Foch Creek Alaska checking out